Okay, here's another update on my Japanese rice fish. Welcome to Peppers and Glowworms. I got the ancestors of my Japanese rice fish in 2019 and they have gone through a few generations by now. I have also crossed in some other strains, at least I tried. Uh, one time there was a little, I think, a Miyuki variety, a little a whitish one with a sort of a bluish line on the back that was kept in a pet store uh, along with some uh, dwarf African clawed frogs uh, which were not the best tank mates so I uh, bought this one and I think uh, one male in this aquarium is an offspring of this one but anyway I have had two tubs outside with some medaka one that I showed earlier this spring that was where I tried to breed in some uh, tricolor varieties that I uh, sourced from a local breeder and one male that is very similar to this one male here in this aquarium that is a bit lighter in color and has a coloration almost reminiscent of the national flag of my home country funnily enough with um, black yellow and gold yeah I tried to breed this male with those females that I got from another breeder but uh, they did produce some offspring but sadly a neighbor uh, of ours cut a thuya, you know, a arbor vitae, tree of life. <laughs> Ironically enough, it's very uh, toxic and uh, not enough of the uh, material was removed from the tub and I think that killed all the rice fish in there, sadly. And the plants grew very nicely in this setup, but you know, I found no survivors. Maybe next year there will pop up some survivors that made it as little fry and I missed them, but I don't think so. I think they're gone. And the other tub that I had, and there was not much reproduction apparently. I think uh, there were some birds involved that uh, sometimes took a few fishes out there. So I guess I will have to secure this tub as well. But anyway, those are the fishes that I still have and I brought them inside for winter and I'm hoping that they will start to breed soon so that I will have a nice head start next year and uh, will try to increase the population again and yeah there are some nice looking individuals there not just the male with the national colors in this aquarium as well but also of the more traditional ones they have apparently increased the number of sparkly little scales you know the lame variety i should mention the original population is derived from a strain of the amber lame breeding line also sourced from a local breeder another one yeah and i think uh, some of those males especially they have more of those sparkly little nice scales than the founding individuals that i had could be a coincidence but um, anyway i like it this way well, there's a little bit of a setback this year, just like with my chili breeding. <laughs> 2023 uh, was a little bit of a problematic year, I guess. But anyway, wish me luck that they will reproduce in winter so that I will have some fry already before spring comes. Also very nice to have that in winter, a little bit of a prequel to the spring that is to come, hopefully. Okay then, uh, see you maybe next year with the next Medaka update, or maybe still this year if they get busy soon. Mm -hmm. Update on the update, just a few days after recording the previous footage I found the first egg bearing female, yay yay yay.